see exponential growth on your Spotify, getting the streams that you deserve with these tips. Spotify is the one. It's the one where you get the streams, the algorithm works in your favor, especially if you're putting out high quality music consistently. However, some of you still aren't getting the streams. You're not getting over that 1,000 mark. You're not seeing editorial placement. You're not even seeing smaller playlists pick you up. And there's a reason for that. It's not because your music isn't good. It's just not reaching the right people. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to skyrocket growth on your Spotify. Take you from zero streams all the way up into the millions. And the reason I can teach you this is because we do it every day. We're a marketing agency and we have got artists millions of streams. We've got artists placed in editorial playlists such as New Music Friday, New Pop Revolution, R&B UK, Hot New Bands. Honestly, the list goes on. And I'm gonna teach you what we do, how we get artist streams, how we hack that Spotify algorithm, see exponential growth for artists. But before anything else, make sure you're subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you're notified when we upload and join the community because we're giving tips like this constantly. Before anything else, you need to look at your Spotify profile. Open your account right now. And if you haven't made an account, get on that. Make sure you are with a distributor and you've got access to your Spotify for artists. Look at your profile and look at it and think, does this look professional? Does this look like an active profile? Has it got press shots? Has it got your social media linked? Has it got a bio? If the answer is no to any of those, then you need to sort that ASAP. You need to sort that before you do any more of these tips. If your profile is empty, it doesn't imply that you care. It doesn't imply that you're gonna release high quality music and you're gonna bring an audience in. You want to prove constantly to Spotify that you are bringing an audience to your profile, getting streams, because that means money for them, that means customers. Now you're ready to go. Next up, you're going to look at your release strategy. You might be thinking, how is my release strategy going to impact my streams? How is that gonna skyrocket my growth? It does massively. Just last year, we pulled an artist material off of Spotify and re-released it as singles once a week up into an EP. That artist got hundreds of thousands of streams. They got on Spotify editorial playlists. And the reason for that is we gave the tracks the chance. If you release as an EP or an album, only one of those tracks can go to editors. Only one of those tracks can potentially get pushed out by the algorithm. So don't miss your chance. Release every single song as a single. And if you wanna release an album or an EP later down the line, drop them as singles in the lead up. And I've done a full video on release strategies and the best way to release music. And I'll link that one below. And I go into more detail about that example I mentioned. So now you know how to release your music and how your profile should look. How do you go about getting on those editorial playlists? Those are the ones, those are the ones that have hundreds of thousands of followers, can get you millions of streams. Well, the only way to do this is to submit via Spotify for Artists. Spotify for Artists is the app that allows you to look at where your streams are coming from and edit your Spotify profile. And if you haven't got access, you can speak to your distributor about that. From here, you're going to submit to Spotify's editors. You can only do this if your track is not released yet. So go to your distributor, submit the song to be released, but set the release date in advance. So a couple of weeks, we'd suggest three to four weeks. And then it'll come up on your Spotify for Artists. It won't be live yet, but it will be on Spotify for Artists. From here, you can hit submit. This means that the editors are going to listen to your track and potentially place it on an editorial playlist. This form is highly important. You need to fill it in correctly, take your time. Don't just click all the buttons and think it will go to everyone. Instead, go more niche. Only click the buttons that are fitting to you. Only tick the boxes that are actually suitable for the track that you have and the playlist it can be put on. The most important part of this form is the pitch. There's a small section at the bottom where you can write something in and they ask you to explain the track. They actually want you to pitch them. You need to prove how you're gonna bring people to the platform, why your track is worth being playlisted and why it's even worth listening to. The answer to that is obviously, it's a great track, but you also need to give it a bit of credibility. So maybe explain some blogs you've been on, some radio play, potentially you've toured with someone, maybe a really big producer helps you with the track. And if you don't have any of those, think about the angle. What makes you different? What makes the track different? What was the writing process? What's it about? And finally, you're going to explain how you're going to get people to the profile. So this could be you're running a social media ad campaign. Maybe you've hired a PR agency. Maybe you're paying influencers to shout out the track. Whatever it is, tell them, because they want to know. They want to know how you're going to be bringing people to Spotify. And we've done a full video on how to submit to these editors. Alex has done one, and I'll link that one below. And in the example that he uses, it actually got an artist placed on New Music Friday UK. So 
it definitely works. The next thing you're gonna be doing to skyrocket growth on your Spotify is get a pre-save for your next track. Running a pre-save campaign can be extremely effective because you are hacking Spotify's algorithm. You're ensuring that on release day, you're getting immediate saves, immediate streams, which means Spotify is gonna see that it's a good quality track and push it out to more people. That is fully hacking the algorithm. So go to your distributor to get that pre-save link. And if they don't offer one, there are plenty of websites such as show.co where you can just make a pre-save. From here, you need to push it out to your audience. You can put it out in content on socials, you can run social media ads, you can run a competition, but whatever you do, you need to remember that it's not really benefiting them. You need to add value in some way. So a competition is great because you're adding value, but you could also hook them in a bit. You could say, this track is my best release today. This is the one people go crazy for at live events, so make sure to save it. Or you can be completely honest, just say this only benefits me, it will help my career out so much. Honesty is the best policy. So you've submitted to Spotify editors, you've got that pre-saved, your Spotify profile is up to date. But now the track's out, are you seeing exponential growth? Potentially not yet. Next up is user curated and branded playlists. These are playlists that aren't actually owned by Spotify, they're owned by everyday users that made playlists themselves. The easiest way to submit to these is to go through Submit Hub, basically a website where you can click the playlist that you want to submit to and they'll listen and potentially take it. Or you can simply just spend time on the platform, search keywords that are fitting to you. So your genre, potentially a mood, potentially an activity, all of those things that are fitting to your song. Make sure that they haven't got bots running through them. If they're getting hundreds of thousands of streams and they don't have that many followers, then it's probably not real. Remember, numbers are pointless if they're not legitimate, engaged fans. If you're getting playlists which put you alongside artists that are similar to you, you're gonna be pushed out by Spotify. The algorithm will be able to work out what your genre is and they'll put you onto Discover Weekly playlists. They'll put you out there so people that like your style of music can stream. The issue with getting placed on playlists that aren't similar to your genre, say Netflix playlists, when you weren't even in the Netflix series, is you'll get the streams, yeah, you will get streams, but Spotify's algorithm can't work out what your genre is. You won't get pushed out more and more. So the minute you're taken off those playlists, your stream stop, which isn't what being an artist is all about. You shouldn't have to rely on anything. You should have an audience there who care about your music. They stream it, they love it, they engage with it. So make sure, keep it legit, focus on your genre. What really matters are the fans. The final thing you're gonna be doing is getting people to your Spotify account via social media advertising. Social media ads are basically paying for space on someone's feed, whether that's Instagram or Facebook. Those are probably the two I'd stick to for this kind of ad. Basically what you're going to do is run an ad which engages people and makes them want to go to your Spotify to stream further. So this could be a short teaser video, it could be a promo video, it could be something from your music video. And the easiest way to get people to engage with that is to run it to people that are fans of similar artists to yourself. You could even put text over the top. You could add credibility by saying, as featured in and mention a blog you've got featured in or as heard on and mention a radio station you've been played on. Or you can use for fans of. So if you sound like Billie Eilish, you could say for fans of Billie Eilish and run that to Billie Eilish's audience. Super simple things, but they actually get people to swipe up on the story, they get people to click through on the feed. But all of those tips together as a whole, bring in an audience, they get those streams. We do it every single day. It gets the streams, it gets the numbers, potentially even gets you an editorial placement. I hope you found this video useful. I hope these tips work for you, get you those streams that you deserve. And if you found it useful at all, hit that like button, make sure to join the community, subscribe, turn on the bell so you're notified when we upload, and I'll see you in the next one.